Minister within the Ministry of Public Works Diodat Indar during a visit to the Skeldon Energy Plant announced additional power to come and stream in coming weeks. The additional power boost to 30 megawatts will provide more reliable energy since the plant is currently producing only 16 megawatts of power. So that is what they are doing. It's a broader capacity. So they could put more power into the transmission lines. Well, they're just waiting on the contractors to come and commission it. They've already installed it, as you can see. The base is installed, the transformer is there, and um, it's only waiting on the contractors to come on board um, uh, to commission it and in, ensure that the, the fl flow of the generated power moves smoothly into the transmission line. The additional megawatts of power would be added to the transmission line when the transformer is commissioned. At the close of the tour, Minister Indar said he was pleased with the job the Board of Directors is doing since the Skeldon factory was restarted. The Board of Directors and the management of, of Skeldon Energy Incorporated has invited me here because they want to show the development that they've done since the restarting of the Skeldon factory using um, the bagasse and other ways to produce electricity. So um, the proof of the pudding is in eating, I saw it. It's working, the engines are working, and they are generating. I checked the control room, and they are generating um, in total between the HFO sets as well as the co-generating set. As at this, mo um, at this moment, 16 megawatts right now. Skeldon Energy Incorporated uses buggies and other ways to produce energy. The company is co-owned by the Guyana Power and Light and the National Industrial and Commercial Investments Limited, NISIL. In addition to his visit to Skeldon, the minister also visited Maibikuri and Blackbush Polder to look at ongoing roadworks and Number 63 Village to observe ongoing sea defense works.